Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you some FIFA 17 leaked player ratings. Now, these are not final, these are provisional, but the likelihood is they're going to be very close to what the actual final player ratings are in FIFA 17. Now, these are being leaked through E3 and also through the Foot 17 uh, beta, well, career mode and whatever other FIFA 17 betas have been. Um, sent out you can't actually get access to it if you haven't already been emailed so uh, there's no way to access it it's a closed beta it's very annoying but that's the way you do it ea do it for fifa 17 but anyway let's kick this off so the team i support manchester united let's have a look at the ratings that have been leaked there's some amazing ratings there now something to note across the board goalkeepers seem to be hugely upgraded a bit like fullbacks last year when they got massive upgrades so there was a lot more 80 pluses as you can see De Gea is 91 which just seems ridiculously high but in the grand scheme of things compared to some other goalkeepers that have had big upgrades as well in these leaked images it makes sense 91 De Gea that would be absolutely terrific you can see 85 Smalling 87 Pogba now the key thing with Pogba you'll be able to see with this image he's got five star skills now I hope they keep that because he'll be so OP one thing I don't understand though Rooney and Schweinsteiger have kept their ratings in particular Schweinsteiger I would think he'd get a downgrade and Pogba had an amazing season he was in team of the year so 87 seems a bit low particularly when Mkhitaryan is also 87 and he had an 81 card that was upgraded to 83 last year so that's a huge upgrade I thought 85 86 for him but a show 80 very happy to see that Ibra at 90 I've seen an image of Ibra 91 so that you know they've already changed that as well but uh, Martial 82 some decent ratings there Rashford on the bench 76 so move on to the next team and that's going to be Chelsea again as you can see Courtois 89 stands out straight away goalkeepers again huge upgrades by the looks of it Diego Costa's kept his 86 rating or was he 85 I know one FIFA he was 86 but anyway Hazard's also kept his rating now for his performance last season I expected him to go down to an 87 but what EA are probably doing is looking at his performances at the end of last season and at the start of this season and he looks as though he's you know getting back to his best so maybe they've just kept it the same for that Kante 81 I think he deserves to be higher he was 76 last FIFA and uh, yeah he won the league with Leicester and I think 82 83 definitely uh, that should be his rating Batshuayi 80 Fabregas kept his 87 Cahill you know a lot of the ratings are Roughly the same as Pilquay has got an upgrade though of 83. So and Willie in 85 actually. Uh, that's that's a big upgrade there as well. So next team we've got is Manchester City. Aguero 89. That's the big rating there. Um, I I think he deserves a 90 to be fair. Like he is one of the best strikers in the world. Uh, Gundogan 85. De Bruyne 88 deserved completely. Otamendi 85, so he's got an upgrade. Joe Hart, who probably won't be at Man City by the end of the transfer window, 85. Uh, David Silva's got a downgrade. Yoyo Toure, last FIFA, probably should have been 86, but this FIFA, I think he would have warranted a downgrade more than he did last FIFA, so I think he should have been 85 uh, for FIFA 17 and 86 for FIFA 16, but nevertheless, he's 86 on this in these provisional ratings. Sane, new signing, 79. Don't know what John Stones is, he hasn't been shown in this image. Next team we've got is Arsenal. Arsenal fans aren't going to be happy with these, they're very low. Koscielny, 84, probably deserves a bit higher. Czech, 87. If Courtois is 89, Czech deserves to be 89 in my opinion. Ozil, 88, definitely deserves that. Maybe an 89, he's a terrific player and he's the best playmaker in the Premier League at the minute in terms of a cam. Sanchez, 86. Probably does deserve to keep his rating, which I think was 86. Um, I, or was it 87? No, I think it was 86. So that's fair enough. He didn't have an amazing season like he did the year before, but it was decent. Uh, you can kind of see Cozola's kept his 85 rating. You've also got Bellerin, 77. He deserves to be in the 80s by a mile. Uh, and Xhaka, you can just about make that out. That's 83. He's uh, the left CDM there. And uh, a few other uh, ratings, but Arsenal fans are going to go into meltdown about that because they are not very high. Juventus is next, and this team is absolutely ridiculous. Buffon, 88. Chiellini, 87. Bonucci and Barzagli, 86. Marchisio, 86. Pjanic, 85. Alves, 85. Alexandro, 84. Dybala, 85. He's going to be so expensive. He's going to be so good as well on Ultimate Team. 88, Higuain. 
that team is just ridiculous. It's still one of the strongest. Obviously, if they'd have kept Pogba, you know, that, that just would have been perfect for FIFA. But thankfully, Manchester United have Pogba now, so uh, very happy with that. Barcelona is the next team I've got here. 91 Neymar. That is crazy. Like, he does deserve that. But Suarez, if Neymar's 91, Suarez deserves a 90. One or a 92 so uh yeah i think that's a little bit low for suarez he is probably the best striker in the world at the minute 94 messi so i think they've given him an upgrade that's what he originally was like a couple of fifas ago anyway so that's fair enough and yes they're getting downgraded slightly 87 you know he or ageist anyway busquets keeping his rating 86 rakitic 85 i think that's kept it kept his rating PK85 probably deserves to be a bit higher, particularly because Mascherano is hard to see, but he's 84 there. Jordi Alba, 84. Um, Bravo, 84. I think he deserves to be a lot higher, and obviously he'll probably be at Manchester City by the time this is out. But yeah, I think they've got a lot of the Barca ratings wrong, but that's probably because uh, Pez now have the Barca licensing, don't they? So uh, yeah, they're probably being a bit harsher than what they usually do because Messi's no longer their cover star. But anyway... Next, we've got Atletico Madrid. There's only a couple of players I'm going to go through here. They are stupidly low for being Champions League finalists again, I think. 86 Griezmann, I think he deserves an 87 or an 88, personally. Uh, Godin, he definitely deserves to be higher. 86 is what his upgraded card was. Like, he should be 87, 88, if not higher. Like, I think he is one of, if not the best centre-back in the world at the minute. Uh, a few other ratings, Jimenez, 83, that is a fantastic card. Oh, it looks it anyway. Gaitan, the new signing on the bench, 84 rated. Now, I do have a lot more of these in Im images? What the hell are images? Images, I can't even say the word, but anyway. Next, we've got Leicester City. Now, these are criminally underrated. This is ridiculous. You've got 80 rated Vardy, 83 rated Mares. These should be way higher. Mares should be 85, 86. Considering some of the other huge upgrades they've done, the, it, these are like stupidly low. They won the Premier League, for God's sake. Vardy, 82 or 83 at least. Come on, like, what are these ratings? Everyone else is 70 or lower? I mean, that's just disrespectful. They won the league and they, they, their ratings are piss poor at the minute. Next team we've got, Liverpool. They're not going to be happy at all. Coutinho probably should be 85, 86, judging on other players' ratings. Sturridge, 83, fair enough. He was, uh, He's kept his rating. He was injured for a lot last season. Maybe Roberto Firmino should be 83. Maybe. I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible. Uh, Matip, 81, that's fair enough. Mignolet, pretty sure Liverpool fans aren't going to be complaining about that. Moreno, though, should be about 40 rated because he's shit. 77 is way too high, but everyone else, probably a little underrated overall. Um, well, particularly Coutinho and Firmino, in my opinion. A um, few of the others, probably about right, but let me know what you think of that. Next, we've got Real Madrid. I think I've got two or three more teams uh, that I've found that are leaked. Ronaldo, 93, so that would mean that Messi's the highest rated player going off these ratings uh, in the game. Bale, 87. That's bullshit. That's the same rating as last year for the, what he did for Wales, and he had a very solid end to the season for Real Madrid. He deserves to be at least 88, and that's at least, if not 89, maybe even 90. Like, what the hell? Hazard kept his 89, and he wasn't great last season, so Bale, 88 at the very minimum. But, you know, obviously these are provisional. Modric, 88, definitely deserves that upgrade. Ramos, 88. Pepe, 86, that's crazy. Navas, 83. Maybe an 84, 85, judging on other goalkeepers. Uh, Marcelo, 84. Rodriguez has a downgrade, 86, that's fair enough. Morata probably deserves to be a bit higher, 81, I think was his upgrade anyway, so maybe 82, 83. But uh, Benzema keeps his rating at 86, that's fair enough. Next, we've got, uh, I was going to say Harry Kane, but we've got Spurs. Lloris, 87. I'm going to use Courtois as an example again. If Courtois is 89, Lloris probably deserves to be 88, 89, definitely. I like the rating of Gabe Valdeviel, though very deserved 84. Harry Kane deserves to be higher than 82. He's had two phenomenal seasons. He was top scorer in the Premier League last season, 84, 85, easy, judging on some of the other ratings. Ali, another player that should be way higher than 77. He should be in the 80s. Uh, given the other ratings they've gave these uh, considering Leicester and Spurs finished top two last season in the Premier League These ratings are shite. They should be a lot higher for both teams And I think this is the last team I've got and it's a big one. It's Bayern Munich now 
take a look at that Neuer. 94. That's his team of the... No, it isn't. His team of the year was 96 last year. Ignore me. But still, 94 rated for a normal goalkeeper. That is insane. Alba, 87. Oh, my God. Hummels, 87. Boateng, 90. Like, these ratings, unbelievable. 88 rated long. 84 rated uh, Douglas Costa. 84 um, Alonso and Thiago. Ribery, 87. Lewandowski, 90. Muller, 85. I don't know why they've downgraded Muller. But uh, every other one of the ratings, I think, have got bang on. You've got Vidal there, 87. Coleman, 79. That team... That and Juventus are going to be two of the most overused teams this FIFA. They are absolutely stupidly good on the looks of these provisional ratings. But as I say, these are just provisional. They're not final, but I thought I'd share them with you anyway because they've been leaked. And uh, yeah, why not? People are interested, but uh, I'm not sure when you are actually going to announce the proper final ratings. But we'll see, I suppose. Hopefully I've enjoyed. Comment down below what you think of the ratings. Do you agree with them, most of them, or do you not? Hopefully I've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.